Welcome to the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference 2018 here in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio by Mr. Cooper Krua, who is the Minister for Post and Telecommunications for Liberia. Minister, welcome to the studio. Thank you. Now, I'd like to start off by asking you a little bit about uh, ICTs. There's currently considerable attention being placed on harnessing the power of ICTs, information and communication technologies, as an enabler for good, for development, for the benefit of people, uh, families, communities and nations. What is your personal perspective on this? Well, I believe that um, ICT now is a way forward in every country. There's there not real development that you can that can be carried out by any nation right now in the absence of ICT. We think that um, the programs and um, the resolutions of uh, of ITU should be respected and enforced by all of the member states to make sure that the whole process of um, the development of ICT is sustained not only in one country, but in all of the member states. And I believe that uh, uh, Liberia is no exception. That's why we're part of this, of this conference. Now, the, this plenipotentiary conference is the first since the world agreed on the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. I wanted to ask you, perhaps if you could provide some examples of how ICTs are helping to drive sustainable development in Liberia. Oh, thank you very much. It about uh, when I joined the, um, I became Minister of uh, Post and Telecommunications about uh, eight months now, because I was as a new government. But prior to that, uh, I've been a practicing lawyer for 28 years. And I see that the transition uh, in, in, in ITC and try to see how it benefits the individual country. And I, in Liberia, as I speak, we have now have launched an e-government program where you we able to um, to deal with uh, uh, e agriculture, e education, and we are all tied into RTC. And I think that uh, at the end of it, it's a country that benefit. And 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 to benefit, don't sit on the counter. That's why we say, look, we what I came here with a seven man team. And I have other than participate in every program, every meeting. Go there and let's carry something by whom? Because at the end of the day, we must look at all of this sustainable development that we've initiated. So we, we're doing very far with our, now you have right now our educational system, the, the entire government uh, institutions in Liberia. You don't pay, now your payment or tuition is done online and it's much smoother then when you were standing in line, physically to go pay money, all you had to do was grab your telephone and then you can just pay your money. So I think that it's, it's, it's a lot. We, we, are, we are on the right trajectory and we have a, lot, a couple of programs that the government is very keen to make sure that we sustain the programs in Liberia as well. About as we know, about half the world's people are connected to the internet, the other half is not. What is your country doing to get everyone connected? I'll tell you what we're doing right now. We are now um, working out, looking at our backbone, and, and, and you know, we were lucky that the ice cable, the Europe to Africa cable, landed in our capital city. And through the assistance of USAID, uh, and, and the World Bank, to some extent, now we have the fiber cables. At, now we're building a fiber ring around Monrovia, the capital city. And we like to see that connectivity not only in Monrovia, but we have uh, 15 political subdivisions. We are now working out, finding funding to, to extend the backbone to all of the political subdivisions. That is the only way we see the real results of the fiber uh, distribution in Liberia. And uh, we think um, this is working, is working for us. And I think, I think we, begin, we have begun to, to see the results because now most of our business partners in Liberia, they want to have the fiber connection. They want to be able to transact businesses just by just the, 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 the fingertip of, 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 of a phone or something like that. And that's been very encouraging. And I think the government of Liberia, 
fully endorse almost all of the programs of, of the ITU. And uh, they've encouraged her to be a part of all of the programs you have here for this for this planning potentiary. And we like to take something back home so that we have some of the officials of, of ITU to visit Liberia and say, look, what are you doing? And we, we'll show you some those things that we're doing based upon the benefits we reap from, from a discussion like we've had here during the, during the course of, this, of the past two weeks. I'm sure that's a great idea. It merits more discussion and, uh, and action, I'm sure. I just wanted to just also ask you, perhaps you might wish to uh, extend a message across to, obviously, the participants here at the Planning Potential Conference, but as well to the wider audience too. Thank you. Uh, I've made a number of observations since I came here. We participated in meetings where we noticed that there are some countries that are ahead of other countries in the RTC development. And uh, I think those of us who are not there should not sit by and wait for the people to come. We should reach out to them and let them know where we have our shop force and let's see what assistance we can get. We also think that the, uh, the officials of, of ITU should not just stay in Geneva. They need to visit the member states and, and identify some of the problems they have. And uh, because a lot, uh, there are some other countries that want to fully participate, that fully want to maybe uh, uh, implement some of the, uh, the e-program, but they may not have the financial capability to do so. Maybe we can look for some fellowship for those countries. And I think, I think the ITU should make some effort in the budgetary appropriation to make sure that some funds, funds are allocated for developing countries or poor countries that really want to follow up but may not have the finances so that they can get some help through ITU. Cooper Kruer, Minister for Posts and Telecommunications Liberia, thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much for having me.